Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. Today is our second edition in our festive trio of videos and today we're going to be turning this into the perfect roast potato. So welcome back if you've watched the first video where we cooked our spatchcock turkey. If you have missed that video then I would suggest go back and checking that out first before you watch this one because this video goes straight on from that first video. So we've got no setup in this uh, video. All the setups have been done while cooking our turkey and then while our turkey is resting, that is when we then start cooking our potatoes. So make sure you check that one out first. I'll leave a link for it in the description and an iCard up in the top corner. And then we're gonna have a third video coming out uh, in the next week or later on this week, I'm not quite sure when it's gonna come out, um, where we're going to be doing a Christmas dessert that you are not going to want to miss. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that third video as well. So let's crack on with our roast potatoes. So as I say, we're going to start off with just simple potatoes. So the potatoes you need to use to get the ultimate roast potato is Maris Pipers. There are nothing better. I've tried loads of different types all over the years. Maris Pipers give you that nice crispy outside and a fluffy centre that you can't get with any other potato out there. So I thoroughly recommend using Maris Pipers. So we start this cook off indoors while our turkey is cooking where we parboil our potatoes. So all I've done is I've peeled them, chopped them into the size that is your desired size for your potato, put them into boiling water and I boil my potatoes for seven minutes. So I put uh, water out of the kettle into them potatoes so it's already hot water and then when it gets to the rolling boil that is when I start my seven minute timer and that gives me enough of uh, a tenderness on the outside that we can get them fluffy but they're not overly falling apart um, which is a pain in the ass when you're cooking potatoes basically so I find seven minutes from that rolling boil is just about right and then what you then do is you drain them, leave the lid off, let them steam dry for about 20 minutes and then take them out and put them into a pot. And this is the most important part of it. I take these potatoes in that pot once they've cooled down and I put them in the fridge for at least an hour. So you might think that's a bit mad, but I find that by cooling the potato down, you get a better crisp on the outside. So get them in that pot, Give them a good shake around so we really fluff up them outsides and plonk them in the fridge for at least an hour, two, three hours, whatever works for you. If you want to do them the day before, you can do. They do slight to slightly discolour after six hours, but once you then warm them back up and you're putting them in the oil, the discoloration does go. So it's all about the prep work with these. If you get them cold and you get them fluffy, then you're going to get a better end product. So they're in the fridge. Our turkey's been taken off and that is resting. So we've got sort of half an hour to an hour to get our potatoes ready. So first thing I do is you go on with a baking tray, biggest baking tray you can fit in your Komodo. So get your tape measure out and have a measure up and work out what you can fit. Or ideally, if you've got like a round cast iron or a skillet or something like that, then you can do them in there because you know that that's gonna fit as well. I've just used a standard baking tray out of the oven and that just about fits in there. Little wiggle just to get the lid shut and it'll fit in there nicely. So on, into this baking tray, I use beef fat. So picked this up in one of the local supermarkets and it's just a jar of beef dripping. And I find that it is better than goose fat, which is what everybody raves about at Christmas, goose fat potatoes. Oh, I think beef dripping is better than goose fat. I think you get a better end result out of there. Um, they just seem to crisp up just slightly better than you get with the goose fat ones. So you just want to take a generous helping, put that into uh, the baking dish that you're going to be cooking your potatoes in, scoop a load out and you want a nice generous amount in there so you can cover the whole bottom of that baking tray so that you can make sure that all of these potatoes are going to be getting oil on there. Now once that has melted down, it's become a liquid, that is when you want to add your salt. So we're just going to go on and just a nice couple of um, twists of salt on there, 
better quality salt is going to give you a better quality end product but if you've only got table salt it's not going to make a massive difference and we just want to let that oil come up to that hot temperature so the barbecue was already sitting between 180 and 200 when we was cooking the turkey and that is the temperature we're keeping it at for these roast potatoes so our oil's come up to temperature it's got a nice sizzle to it now and we're ready to be taking our potatoes out of the fridge and getting them into this oil so just quite simply pour them in there and then when i'm indoors i tend to toss my potatoes through the oil but outside there's that worry that if you're going to get a little bit of oil come out of the pan and it drips down onto the coal and you're going to end up with a big grease fire so be careful if you want to toss them the better way to do it is to take a large spatula and just kind of fold them over each other all the way through the oil so that they've got a nice coating all the way around them and it's a safer way to do it so we've got them in next thing we want to do is a jamie oliver trick so he always takes a potato masher and he pushes down on the top of the potato so it gives it a better um, contact across the bottom of the pan so that you get um, a more of a crisp now i always find if i use a potato masher the top of the potato that's quite soft gets stuck in the holes of the masher as you can see so what i do is i take that same spatula i've just been rolling um, these potatoes through the oil and I just push down on the top of them potatoes with that large spatula and it just makes sure that you've got a nice contact area across that oil that's going to give you a really nice crispy crunch on the outside of these potatoes. So now we want to get that lid shut because we don't want our temperatures to get too high because they will burn and we're going to leave them in there for about 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes it's time to come out and give them a toss through so again i'm not tossing the pan like i would indoors i'm just taking that spatula and just working them over bit by bit if you've got some that's stuck take the pan off the barbecue and leave it off for two or three minutes and i find that that just tends to release them just slightly because you want to make sure that you lift the crisp potato up with the rest of it and not just break the potato as you're trying to turn them over so it just tends to loosen it off slightly and then you can get a bit of a scrape in there and underneath but keep as much of that crisp on the potato as you possibly can so toss them through the oil again and back in for another 15 minutes and then again we take them out and have a look and as you can see they're much more golden again this time because that oil has been through the potato again it's got that heat convecting down from the top of the dome as well as the heat from the oil that they are sitting in as well at this point if they're done to your taste you can take them off they'll be cooked through after 30 minutes i want to give mine just another five so i'm just going to go through toss them through again shut that lid down give them another five to ten minutes just to make sure that they are really golden on the outside so that gives them a total cook time of 40 minutes again as i say this is why your turkey is resting so it will make sure that you're not faffing about with your turkey because you're concentrating on what you're doing with your potatoes and then you won't be carving your turkey too early so we've had that 40 minutes and as you can see they are golden they are fluffy they've got a really really nice color to the outside of them so that's it we take them off and they are ready to serve so we've got no taste test today because as i said in the first video it's pretty dark in the shack by the time that i got around to cooking these I haven't sorted the lighting or I hadn't then I have now um, sorted the lighting out in the shack effectively so I can sit here and give you a taste test and plus I was pretty hungry I've been outside most of the afternoon cooking Christmas food um, and I wanted to go inside and have a pre Christmas dinner so I can assure you that these are really tasty really light and fluffy and they just it's the ultimate way to cook a roast potato so if you like what we're doing here at barbecue life uk then please do subscribe to the channel make sure that you like the video and leave me a comment underneath and make sure that you stick around for the third video that is going to be out in the next few days cheers